Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Beta Edition on the left versus Zorin OS 16, whoa, uh, Gnome Edition on the right hand side. Which you'd, uh, first of all, uh, you couldn't, uh, couldn't blame me for not realizing this is the GNOME edition. It's heavily, heavily customized, but it looks beautiful. Anyway, starting off, uh, Cinnamon, uh, the Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon edition, it's using that nice, clean, crisp, fast Cinnamon desktop environment with the start menu there, the categorizations of apps, the, the search feature there. We've got the, uh, or well, the context menu on the desktop there, ability to open a terminal, which is nice to see. And we've got our icon sets and our taskbar there. That's all fine. Uh, Zorin is technically very similar, but uh, still uh, quite different too. So just a beautiful setup. In fact, let's really compare them as I promised to. And we've got these nice uh, customized icon sets specific to Zorin. Uh, we can search for things just like we do with our cinnamon, so the search menu. Uh, although this part isn't colorized, it's very easy to determine and see what you're looking for, say a downloads folder for instance there. And uh, speaking of folders, uh, let's actually uh, open up the file, the file managers there and see what's going on. Whoa, wobbly windows, that's going to have a RAM hit to it soon, we'll take a check shortly. But uh, on the left hand side we are using the Nemo uh, file manager there, whereas on the right hand side we're using the files file manager which is quite synonymous with any GNOME desktop environment. But of course I love blue, blue's my thing, so I certainly love Zorin OS more. Uh, in fact I love dark mode in general as well, easier on the eyes. So, And I just love the these beautiful color accents and tones, the highlights. Uh, just just a real big fan of Zorin, just the look and feel. Now Zorin's actually designed to be uh, uh, for newcomers to Linux uh, that are moving from, from Windows, for instance there, or even Mac. Just something nice and easy to use with a diminished need for the terminal. And that's uh, why it's, it's quite a unique operating system there in my field or desktop environment. Now we can right click and we can open terminal for each of these, speaking of which. And uh, yeah, we've got these nice, uh, these nice color in scheme choices that Zorin uses there. So I'm very happy with that. I think I had a look at the context menus. Yep, that's all there. Uh, now, next up, let's have a look at the back end and see what's going on. So they are both based on the Ubuntu long-term service release. So we've got a later and greater kernel, the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint, whereas Zorin OS is actually the 5.13 kernel. Now, it is a little bit older because it hasn't got the new uh, Ubuntu long-term service release. So it's going to get an upgrade soon, but it's pretty close either way, so I wouldn't write home too much about that one. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. Always take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, CPUs are idling out nicely for both of them. RAM usage on boot up for Linux Mint is uh, 688 megabytes of RAM, whereas Zorin OS, whoa, wobbly Windows, is 954 megabytes of RAM. So what's that, 1, 2, 300, 250-ish megabytes of RAM more on boot up which is pretty good uh, for Zorin, I've got to say, because most GNOME desktop environment variants usually use 1.3 or 1.5 gigabytes of RAM straight on boot up. And I'm looking at you, Fedora. I'm looking at you, Pop OS. All of you distros out there, not a big fan. But uh, this is one that uh, does a little bit better, fares a lot better in comparison, considering how heavily and beautifully customized it really is. I might just hit install now just because I'm here. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.